was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. This morning, Father David offered Mass for Father Matthias at the Missionaries of Charity. Um, Father Philip offered Mass at the Cloister for John Okamoto, Marietta's husband, on the anniversary of his death. And today, this Mass is offered for all of our mothers enrolled in the Mother's Day Novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of the Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us, and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it. And 
may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus Christ came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
When I was baptized, I was baptized as Matthew Michael. So Matthias is not my baptismal name, not my given name. Though I haven't ditched Matthew <laughs> or Michael, they're still good patrons for me. It was mysterious growing up, uh, reflecting back on it, because my great grandmother, Marie Lambrecht, she had a, kind of a German accent and was from Canada. Um, she wouldn't call me Matthew. She would say Matthias. She was the only one in my family who would do such. And she would write it in birthday cards, Matthias, Matthias. I never asked her about it. She died when I was little. And I don't know if anybody else did. Well, when God called me with religious life, we had the option of looking at a religious name and submitting options there. And Matthias resurfaced. Right before I entered, my own mother, I don't know if she knew this, um, she called me Matthias out of the blue. And after I entered, one of the brothers out of the blue just called me Matthias. It was strange. And I remember being before the tabernacle and pondering what the Lord might be calling me to take on as a, a new name in religious life, a new patron. And it came out, uh, and it was just right, Matthias, Therese, <laughs> of the Immaculate Heart and Divine Mercy, the provincial cut off a couple of those, <laughs> so they're hidden, Divine Mercy and Therese. But I really identified with Matthias, it just grew on me. For one, I was always hanging around with the church, was involved with campus ministry, youth ministry, music ministry, hanging around, just like Matthias was one of those disciples who was with them from the baptism of John, he was hanging around but he wasn't quite chosen in the sense of being an apostle yet. And I wonder, and for years, eight years up and down struggle, is the Lord calling me to priesthood? Is, is this from you, Lord? You know, take it from me if it's not. And finally, when he made it clear, when I finally saw and heard, I had such a sense of being chosen by him. Not because I was worthy, but because of his choice is what is true. So Matthias has become who I am, and it no longer is strange to be called Matthias, as it was early in religious life. Matthias. I wonder if my great-grandmother was influenced by her German heritage because Matthias's relics were believed to be brought or um, mandated by St. Helena, the mother of Constantine in the fourth century, to be sent up to Trier, Germany. So, fast forward hundreds of years, they found relics of Matthias in Trier, Germany at this abbey of St. Matthias as they were doing demolition work of the old structure, the old church for the new one. And so it became a basilica, a major pilgrimage site. So with that German connection, perhaps that's what influenced her. But I think the Holy Spirit was involved there as well. Chosen. As Jesus said, it was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. John says in the scriptures, in 1 John, we love because he loved us first. There's a primacy with God. He is the first mover. He's the first lover. He's the one who chooses we respond. The sense of being chosen with St. Matthias was mentioned in St. Clement of Alexandria in one of his writings. He said, Jesus did not choose Matthias because he was worthy, because he was ready. He said he chose Matthias because he had insight into who Matthias would become. It was not uncommon to hear in the seminary guys share and formator share, God does, God does not call the equipped. God equips the called. God equips the called. So let us not be afraid when God is calling us to something. There might be some fear, give it to him. We move forward that he's going to equip us, especially with the power of his spirit and the work to be done. So, brothers and sisters today, with the inspiration and example of St. Matthias, let us reflect upon the primacy of God. 
the one who moves first in our lives, and to have that same dependence as the apostles, as Peter did upon the Lord. He didn't just choose for himself, he followed an inspiration, and then they cast lots, praying first. And what did they say? You, Lord, know the hearts of all. Show which one of these two you have chosen. You have chosen. And then they move forward in a priestly act of casting lots, as the priest did in the temple, to choose whose duty things were. So before any act this day, as many decisions as we can, let's invoke the Holy Spirit, let's ask the Lord's guidance, and then we move forward in faith, trusting in Him who has chosen us first. Trusting in the Lord's goodness and His first movements in our souls with the Spirit, even to open our mouths in sincere prayer, we offer these petitions. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, chosen in a special way by Jesus to go forth and bear fruit, that they may be strong friends of Jesus, whose fruit will endure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that we may be part of the divine work that lifts up the lowly and the poor, to seat them with respect and dignity at the common table of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may know Jesus from the inside, as one knows a friend by making our own motivation of self-sacrificing love that was his identity and his joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations, that in the midst of the praying community, the one who knows the secrets of hearts may continue to choose apostles as he chose Matthias for the mission of evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are, are sorrowing, for the sick, the bereaved, those in economic hardship, those caught in the chains of addiction, that our loving prayer and service may bring them a share in the Lord's joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who looks on us as his friends, may gather our faithful departed into the embrace of heaven's fellowship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the mothers on the mothers enrolled in the Mother's Day Novena, uh, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for Jim Tierney, for Crystal Sanchez, and for Daniel in Tucson with the coronavirus, and as well as uh, all those suffering in any way of depression, of uh, frustration, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray uniting uh, with others in the world of the church, those of goodwill, unite with them in prayer and penance this day for an end to this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the repose of the souls of Marie Chavez, Hilario Casado, Thomas Mailhot, and all of the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer you these petitions as well as our hearts this day and all of our actions in union with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of earth. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your Church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Song to song to song to Sominus Deus God, 
living, and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, 
Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants, John, Marie, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. On you stay, quit all his peccata mundi, misere nobis. you
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Alleluia. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed Matthias's intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. 
God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, be our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia.